Hey everybody, welcome to my solo growth model part three. In parts one and two, we explored how to find the steady state of a solo growth economy. And in this one, we're gonna start implementing a policy idea, which is sometimes referred to as the golden rule. And what we're gonna be doing here is trying to figure out not just what is the steady state, but what is the best steady state? So for that, we need some sort of an objective. Uh, some way of measuring if we're being successful or not. And we're economists, so we're going to be all worldly and simplistic, and we're going to assume that what makes our economy best off is to maximize consumption per person. So let's get this on a graph for some intuition so we can figure it out. Here's a graph. And we're going to put steady state level of capital on this axis. And we're going to put steady state output and depreciation and investment on this axis. So these are all steady state values. Let's draw our depreciation line, delta K star. Let's draw our investment line, SF of K star. And let's draw our um, actual production line. Now, this one equals Y, output per person. This one equals I. I guess I can put little stars on these. Output per person in the steady state, investment per person in the steady state. And what I am interested in finding here is consumption per person in the steady state. I want to make that consumption as big as possible. Now, consumption, remember we only have two things we can spend our money on. We can consume it or we can invest it. So consumption equals Y minus I, but we can rewrite that as being F of K star minus delta K star. Now you might be wondering, where did that come from? Well, it came from this. We're talking about being in the steady state, meaning that our change in capital stock is zero. And in the steady state, our investment equals depreciation. How do I know? Well, that's because delta K is equal to investment minus depreciation. So if delta K is zero, then those have to be equal to each other. So with this rewritten, with consumption looking like so, well, those are both on our graph. I wanna find, well, I wanna point out that consumption is the gap between the Y curve, F of K star, and the depreciation curve. Now, in some places, consumption is very small. And in some cases, consumption is larger. So I want to find the place where consumption is the largest. How do I do that? Calculus, baby. Gotta love it. I want to find the point where these two lines are parallel to each other. You're going to have to forgive me on some of my artwork, but let's pretend that they are parallel right here. That's pretty close. Now, why do I pick a point where they're parallel? Well, if I choose some lower level of capital, like over here at this blue K, I could drive consumption larger by increasing K, and my production would rise faster than my depreciation. Likewise, if my capital were over here, I could increase consumption by reducing investment and my production would fall but my depreciation would as well. I'm sorry, by reducing capital. Anyway, yep, so we are interested in this point marked in yellow where those two things are equal to each other. And so we want to find the capital level at which the slopes are equal. And that will be our 
golden rule level of capital. Now the, the slope of the depreciation curve is delta. Uh, it's a straight line, delta is the slope. So slope of delta k star is delta. So I want to find the point where the slope of f of k star equals delta. Now what's the slope of f of k star? Well, you can go review your power rule. Um, hey, it's going to haunt you quite a bit in this class. Uh, there's a tag up there for it if you want to review my initial power rule video. But the slope of f of k star is f prime of k star. Or in other words, is df dk. And let's see, do I have it written here? I don't. All right, so in the example that I had earlier, uh, I said that f of k was equal to the square root of k. Well, if that's true, then my slope is equal to 1 over 2 square root of k. Where did that come from? Well, f of k is k to the 1 half, which means if I use my power rule, f prime of k is equal to, let's see, bring that exponent down, 1 half times k risen to the see, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, which is 1 over 2 times 1 over k to the 1 half, which is 1 over 2 k to the 1 half, which is 1 over 2 square root k. All right, so all that stuff aside, my f prime I will set it equal to my depreciation rate. Uh, and so with F prime set equal to depreciation, I can solve for the level of K that makes that happen. That's one over two delta equals square root of K, one over four delta squared equals K star golden rule. This is the K that will set these two lines as far apart as possible, leaving us with the most consumption possible in our steady state. How did we do it? We set the slopes equal to each other and found the K that made that happen. So I hope that was useful to you. You know, if not, too bad. Good luck, you guys, and happy econ.